Hi guys, thanks for tuning into this Scan Tool Network video. In this video, we're going to do a demonstration of the Autel Maxicom MK808 kit, uh, diagnosing and resetting this flashing airbag light that we have on this Nissan Qashqai. Um, the kit is available by clicking the link directly below this video It's very important that you use the links in the description below this video The reason I say that is because there are fakes there are clones on the market unfortunately And um, it's you've got to be very careful when buying diagnostic tools because uh, the fakes and clones just don't work as well as the originals uh, And they will eventually stop working so um, just try and avoid that make sure you use the links in the description If you want to make sure you're getting a genuine tool. Okay, so enough of me talking we've got this plugged into the diagnostic port and we're going to click on to diagnostics and we're going to select our manufacturer quickest way to do that is just to go to Asia and then look for the Nissan logo there it is we do need to do a few updates on this tool um, but we'll do that in our own time so we'll click on to manual selection and we're, going to, we're in Europe we're currently in Great Britain well, that's where the vehicle is based uh, I was bid for and we're in a Nissan Qashqai plus two it's a J10 and it's 08 onwards so we'll click yes to that we'll go to diagnosis control unit and we're going to click on to airbag so it's going to establish a communication with the vehicle sometimes this can take up to 30 seconds depending on the vehicle depending on the tool Okay, so we're going to go to read codes and it's giving us B1129 uh, side module right hand open now you notice how it says past here uh, the reason for this is because we found a loose connection underneath the driver's seat we've now put it back together so it recognizes that it's been put back together so it's calling it a past fault meaning it's no longer present but we still got the problem of the flashing airbag light on the dashboard there so you do need to uh, use the tool in, in order to actually uh, reset that so what I'm going to do now is go to escape I'm going to go to erase codes and it's telling me that it needs the ignition on and the engine off so let's do that ignition on but the engine is off and we're now going to click yes DTCs which is diagnostic trouble codes and freeze data will be deleted are you sure we're going to click yes codes have been erased successfully so the airbag light is on along with the others in fact it's just gone off there but if I start the engine hopefully all of the lights will turn off which they have have they the airbag light has come back on is it still flashing it is still flashing that's quite strange let me try that again no fault codes detected hmm. see no reason why that should still be flashing in fact has it gone off there now it has it's gone off there it just needed a little bit of uh, extra time I guess uh, but there we go it's gone off oh well, probably what happened is you sometimes you've got to come out of the airbag system within the tool uh, for it to turn off and that's probably what's happened there so that's all thanks to the Autel MK80 yeah, MK808 kit it works on a, a huge range of manufacturers as you can see and uh, a huge range of systems a huge range of service systems as well uh, it does uh, an absolute load um, but yeah, I'm gonna, as I say, I'm going to put the link to this kit in the description. Um, there are fakes, there are clones, so make sure you're using the links in the description. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.